Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So despite what I said in my last couple of videos, I have another haul for you. Today is an ASOS haul. Um, so basically I was trying not to get any more clothes, trying not to spend any money, and then the sales hit and I just could not resist. There were so many good deals. Like ASOS had 50% off their already 80% off sale. So yeah, you do the maths. That is literally a joke. Like it was crazy. I got some really good prices on things so i stocked up on a couple more dresses because i think i said a while back i transformed my summer wardrobe and i realized that most of my clothing was actually winter clothing like jumpers and stuff and i don't actually have a lot of summer dresses so in the last few weeks i've been doing a lot of sale shopping and stocking up on them summer dresses and also things for like florida like these sort of dresses like the one i'm wearing now is from h&m i think that was like the last couple of videos this was four pound from h&m and it's literally the perfect material perfect for florida when it's like really hot and sticky and you go on water rides and get wet and have to dry quickly so yeah i got a couple of bits of florida and a couple of bits for paris and just some summer pieces so yeah i will show you everything i got and i will do a try on clips as well i hope you enjoy this if you do please leave a like and subscribe i'm so close to a thousand subscribers like oh my god i think i've got like 112 like yes i am counting them down because i'm so excited but i really really want to hit it by the summer so if you are watching this and you're not subscribed please subscribe it would mean so much okay i'm just gonna pull everything out in a random order so this is the first thing i've pulled out and i really hope this fits me because from memory this is the thing i am most excited about because it's literally stunning i do you know what i will get the i'll get my phone up as well and try and find the prices for you um because i always whenever i watch hauls i always want to know the prices because i just find it interesting so i'm just loading up my asos app and i will let you know also i've got such a headache today like does anyone else get those headaches where they're like behind your eyes and like the back of your head and like all the way through your jaw like oh my god it's awful okay uh view i don't know if it'll have the prices on yeah okay so it's got the original price and then i said it's just 50% off so this dress was nine pounds it was originally 18 uh, well that was in the sale to be fair it was eight originally 26 and then it went down to 18 and then it went down to nine so yeah this is the dress this is the material and then it's just got these like kind of like spaghetti straps so i'll come a bit closer so it's got like kind of like a not ruching but i mean you can see it pretty well and then it just goes down into like a skirt it's quite like a thick material so i don't know if this would be good for disney or not um because it's got like underlaying so i mean it's it'll be really good it means it won't be see-through um but yeah here it is in a little bit closer detail obviously you will see it in the try on clip and the material and the pattern is really nice i feel like that's so summery but yeah it might be a little bit too thick and hot for florida i'm not sure but could be really cute for paris to be fair let me know what you guys think obviously you will see the trial clip if it doesn't fit me then like if you don't see a trial clip that means it didn't fit me which would be really sad i got this in i got this as a size 12 but it is a petite which i obviously didn't realize so it might be a little bit too tight i'm not sure um but we will see and yeah let me know your opinions i always say in all my hauls feel free to comment even if you don't like them any styling tips if you want any links like just yeah just feel free to comment and i'd really appreciate that this is the first dress on it does fit and I love it, but I don't think it's doing wonders for this whole area. Like, it kind of feels like it's, like, pushing me in and squeezing me in. Um, I don't know if it needs, like, to not have a bra on, but then I don't really like not wearing bras. I love the pattern. I do love it and it's really thick, good quality, but, yeah, it's just not... I think it's for someone that's got... I mean, I don't have massive boobs, obviously, but I think it's for someone with a bit of a smaller chest because not even my boobs, but I'm just quite big around this area. So, yeah, I think I might have to return this because it's just not how i pictured it would be in my head but i do love the pattern and for nine pounds like it is a really good price for the stress i just think yeah maybe for more like smaller chested girls <laughs> okay so this goes from summer to winter a little bit with this dress i mean i guess you could wear it in the summer but do you know what this actually might be really nice for paris so it's this dress and in the picture you wear it with like a pinafore like well it is a pinafore and then you wear it with like a white t-shirt underneath i was thinking for like autumn this could be really good to wear Oh my god, I just looked at this and it looks massive. I got an extra large. Actually, probably not to be fair, it's a mango, so their sizing is like Zara, isn't it? So it probably is right. Um, and to be fair, I wouldn't mind it being a little bit baggy. So yeah, you can either put a short sleeve t-shirt underneath or long sleeve t-shirt. I feel like in the autumn you could do a short sleeve white top and then in the winter a long sleeve white top with like chunky tights. That would look really nice. But this could also be kind of cool in Paris. So this is the material up close and the pattern. It's just like a checkered kind of like it's giving like Blair Waldorf I don't know for me it is but yeah that was from the brand Mango obviously on ASOS 
and let me check the price of that i've got a feeling it was like five pounds i don't think it was much uh four pound fifty that's how much i paid for that it was originally nine pounds well it was originally 36 then down to nine and then down to four pound fifty so yeah their sale i think i think it has ended now i think they might still have the um up to 70 80 percent off but they won't have like the additional um money off that but then do check it every now and then because sometimes they do like an extra 20 percent off the sale an extra 30 percent off the sale um yeah they do sales a lot so definitely keep an eye on it because you might not have missed it but yeah let me know what you think about that dress i think in the autumn that would look so cool maybe with chunky tights boots like i just feel like that's an autumny wintry look okay now i'm gonna bring it back to summer with a bikini and if you know me you know i do not need more bikinis but when it's in a sale and it's as gorgeous as this i just couldn't resist so i also think this will probably be really really good quality let me check what the brand is sorry my camera cut off i don't know where i got to but i think this will be really good quality i think i was saying about the brand i think it is asos own brand or it says down here as you don't know if that's i've never heard of that but it might be a brand on asos but this is the bikini top so as you can see it's got like a gap here where a bit of under boob will come out i feel like that will look quite nice i mean i don't know if i have the confidence but we will see and then what i like about it is it's like an actual clasp i do prefer these i mean tying like having tie backs is a bit easier because you can like tie it how tight you want it and it's kind of like adjustable with the sizing but i personally do prefer them when they are literally just like a bra i feel like they look a lot more flattering and yeah this is the bra oh, and also what i've just noticed is it has like these bits on there so like if it is a little bit like big it won't like gape because it will kind of like stick i've never seen that before on a bikini that's a really good idea but yeah here is the bikini up close it's in like a really nice like beigey stone color um i'll check the price in total in a minute but here are the bottoms as well i think they're quite like yeah i mean actually this is perfect because it's kind of like cheeky at the front but then it's still got like a lot of coverage at the back i feel like when you get bikini bottoms where they're like really like triangle like that it's really flattering but then they end up being like a thong on the back like they kind of like match the same size where i like that it's actually got quite a bit of coverage on the back so that could be quite like a fra family well i said that could be a family friendly bikini it's literally got under boob hanging out so maybe not but we will see um i got the bottoms yeah i got both of them in a size 12 so hopefully they fit and let me check the pricing also guys do you like my new phone case it's like the evil eye thing with the little dangly thing who do i think i am right so the bottoms were 10.99 down to six pounds down to three pounds then the top was 15.99 down to 8.50 down to 4.25 so 4.25 plus three so 7.25 in total for the whole bikini i don't think that's bad at all i think that's actually really reasonably priced for a bikini that originally would have cost you like nearly 30 pounds so yeah really good pricing it does say the brand is as you so if you do want to look it up but obviously if you do want these items i can definitely link them so let me know and yeah i'll definitely find the links for you the next item is also a dress i kind of added this to my basket in the last minute i think let me just check the price now actually so i don't have to yeah so it was 22.99 down to 10 pounds down to five pounds so five pounds for this dress um i thought it could be an option for paris i feel like for paris today i really need to sort out what i'm actually wearing because i have a few options and oh, if it fits in my suitcase i think i'm just literally going to pack as much as i possibly can um so this might be an option like an evening option for paris i'm not actually i'm actually quite confused how this goes okay i think it just needs tightening up so yeah it just needs tightening up so this is the front and then the back is kind of like gaping a little bit i'm guessing that's the front i think the yeah the the backs is all like crisscross I'm, i mean i find stuff like this really confusing so i will have to work it out i'm not sure how oh no it's actually not see-through but it's in this gorgeous like royal blue color and it's satiny i think oh, so maybe it'll look like a nighty i'm not actually sure i'd have to try this on um but yeah maybe for paris in the evening that could be a little contender because obviously when i pack that it's really not going to take up a lot of space or weight so yeah that could be a contender for paris for five pounds i thought i might as well add that to my basket and try it out obviously you will see in the try on clip if i managed to actually work out how it fits but i got that in a size 12 as well i'm hoping you can see the potential for this dress because i actually can't reach around to loosen it up so this side is how it should be this side is where it's gone like too tight at the back and i can't reach around to undo it for now so yeah that's why it's obviously so short it wouldn't be so short if that was the case but if you can try and envision it like this and then longer i think it's actually gorgeous i obviously can't turn around as well because my whole bum is literally just hanging out the edge but to be fair i'm thinking even if it goes to that length like that is very very short so i need to have a play around with it but i'm thinking it is 
far too short to actually leave the house in probably even to go to bed in if i'm not like i'm not gonna lie i don't wear stuff like this to bed and it is giving more of like bed energy do you know what i mean like bougie bed energy so yeah i think this one will go back as well which is really sad because so far both my things I've tried on are going back and I feel like I jinxed it because my last haul with my H&M haul everything was like perfect like I didn't take a single thing back so this was bound to happen you know so I take about what I said about the first dress this might be my favourite dress I've wanted a dress like this for like the last few summers and I've just never like spent the money on it um let me see how much it is first actually before I show you because uh, if this fits this is probably my favourite dress so it was 26 down to 15 down to what's half of 15 seven pound 50 why did i just have to work that out that's so bad um but it is this dress and again i'm hoping this will be good for florida but it, it kind of depends on how thick and hot it is so originally when i saw this online i thought oh my god it's gonna be see-through here because it's crochet nope they've literally got an insert like oh my god they thought of everything but yeah it's this crochet dress with just obviously it goes straight down this i'm not sure if this will fit me with a bra on i got it in a size 12 but again it's petite 12 so i'm thinking that might be a little bit tight but we will definitely try it on it will just be in the boob area because look i've got a bra now and that is like tight but i'm not confident enough to not wear a bra with things like this i just couldn't do it um but yeah here is the crochet design closer up it's so nice and then it's obviously this like sagey color for seven pound fifty i thought that was so nice and i'm literally praying that fits because it's just such a nice summer dress isn't it like love it this is giving the same thing like it's giving uni boob it's giving my boobs hang down to here which i mean it's not far off <laughs> but i just think it's just for some someone that's a bit more like not flat chested but someone that's got smaller boobs than me or just like like slimmer like it's not even my boobs that are big but i'm just like a bigger girl like in this department like around here do you know so i just i just think it's looking like a uni boob on me it's not looking great so i think this is gonna have to go back to which i'm really sad about that's literally all three of my thing i'm not gonna try the bikini on because don't have the confidence for that just yet um but every dress that i've tried on is literally got to go back that's so bad i think the only thing i'm going to be keeping is the bikini the sun cream and the shoes so yeah this has been a epic fail of a haul but i mean just because they look bad on me doesn't mean that they're going to look bad on you so definitely pick them up if you like them i would definitely still link them if you want me to because the all the dresses like it's nothing on the dresses at all they're all gorgeous dresses it's just how they look on me so yeah don't let me ruin it for you do you know what i mean because they are very nice dresses but yeah it's just such a shame none of them fit me i'm actually really sad about it but i mean at least i'll get some of my money back <laughs> on to accessories so i mean this isn't really an accessory it's just something that i saw and needed for paris and florida and for the price which was 10 pound down to five pound down to two pound fifty it is just this um mineral sun protect face cream so basically let me okay it doesn't want to focus but it's by the brand revolution it says revolution skin as well so i guess they have a skin range and i basically like i don't like putting sun cream on my face because as in like you know like the actual sun cream because i just think it's too oily and it ends up like breaking my skin out so i need to get like one that's specifically designed for the face and i've been searching and like obviously some like boots and stuff do them but they're actually kind of pricey so i saw this one and thought this was actually really good it is literally just a face cream and it's fbf 30 which is fine because i'll just top it up more um i didn't actually check the rating actually the uvf rating i can't actually see that anywhere so that's not a good sign um but it says uvb and uva so yeah i'll definitely take that along to paris and florida if there's any left because it's quite mini as well so actually what is it it's 50 mil so that's perfect for paris because i literally just have hand luggage not hand luggage but you know what i mean the, the little suitcase that goes in your thing on the plane for paris because we're only going for like four days or like three days even maybe so yeah that's the perfect sizing for travel and i don't think that was actually too bad for a revolution brand like obviously it was meant to be 10 pounds i definitely wouldn't pay 10 pounds for it but yeah i thought that was a little good thing might as well add it to my basket whilst it was on sale and then last of all these are definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea let me get the price as well because i feel like i might soften the blow when you actually see them so they were 16 pounds down to eight pound 50 down to four pound 25 so bear that in mind when you see them because it might i don't know it might make your decision but i don't know i'm i'm definitely going to try them on but if you know me you know that i love a weird shoe like <laughs> that sounds really strange but if you watch my primark calls you'll see that i love all the like chunky like not jelly but like chunky kind of like oh, i don't know how to describe the material because it's not like plastic plastic but you know what i mean oh, let me do you know what let me go get one from my wardrobe because then you'll know what i mean 
right this one is a little bit dirty because i've been wearing it but they're these kind of shoes from primark and they do them in so many different colors and they also do like kind of like flat like sand or like birkenstock kind of juke ones and i love them literally wear them all the time as you can see they're very well worn already um and i got some from h&m and when i saw some similar from asos i just couldn't resist but I do think these are quite different. Like they're either going to look really nice or not nice at all. Um, but I'll let you make your mind about that. I feel like everyone is going to hate them. But we will see. But <laughs> these are the shoes. So they are like gold as you can see. Flip flops and yeah they kind of look like it's like rope. But it's it's not. It's just plastic. Um, I don't know if these are going to fit. I don't know how comfortable they're going to be. It doesn't look like they've got a lot of room to get my foot under. In fact I'm just going to. I'm just going to try and put it on now. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, it does fit. But it definitely needs, like, stretching. And what I love about it, look, really, this is me, like, cleaning down. This is me with it on. So, yeah, I do love that it gives you a bit of height. In fact, let me just put them both on and see how much height it actually gives me. Because as a 5 foot 2, well, I, I found out the other day I'm not even actually 5 foot 2. I'm, like, literally just under 5 foot 2. So, yeah, anything to give me a bit of height. Do you know what? I love them. I don't really want to show you my feet right now because they're actually kind of disgusting. Like, literally, we went to the beach yesterday and Kitty literally said she thought I had gangrene. Like, that's a nice thing, isn't it? Definitely don't have gangrene, but I just have hairy toes and not really willing to put my hairy toes on the internet. So, yeah, I'm not going to show you, but I actually really do like them. And they've given me, obviously, as you can see, I was actually here. And now I'm here. So they've given me a bit of height, which I can't complain about. I definitely need a little bit of height every now and then. And I think they are going to be quite comfy, to be honest. I think they just need wearing in. So I don't, I mean, I'm probably not going to bring them to Paris. Let's be real. Like, I'm trying to be fashionable in Paris. So they probably aren't the vibe for Paris. But just for the summer and maybe even for Florida, I think these actually are really worth £4.25. <laughs> So yeah, that is everything I picked up from ASOS. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you want any links. Let me know if you have any styling tips. Um, or if you have any good recommendations for clothing, like places to get Paris clothes, basically. You know what I mean? Like, I want this... It sounds really, like, stereotypical, but I want that, like, Paris look. I want just, like, aesthetic, fashionable Paris clothing. So I have been looking on Vinted as well. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any good recommendations or... Yeah, just let me know if you if there's any videos you think I should film. I'm def definitely going to be doing a Paris vlog and I'm going to be doing a pack with me and just like a prep with me kind of thing. So yeah, subscribe if that's something you want to see. And obviously the Disney content will be coming in a couple of months. Well, yeah, like I literally go in a month and a half. So yeah, not long at all. Um, so yeah, definitely subscribe and please do like this video if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.